Thank you very much, John, uh, for the introduction. Excellencies, uh, distinguished delegates, uh, I'm really very delighted to be here uh, in Perth, and thanks to ADU for the invitation. Um, I'm here to talk about Nigeria. You've heard about Ghana, you've heard about Kenya, you've heard about um, uh, countries that are experienced in this sector. And naturally, if I were to ask everyone here uh, what Nigeria is known for, all of you would say oil and gas. N none of you is likely to say mining. Uh, and and you'll be right. Mining um, used to be uh, a very key sector of our economy. Up till the mid-60s, it contributed about 4% of, to, uh, of the GDP, and then that gradually went downhill uh, to what we have today, about 0.33% uh, of the uh, economy. But when my boss came in after last year's election, and given what is happening to the oil and gas market around the world, we lost about two-thirds of our revenue uh, from a top price about over $100 per barrel of oil to what is hovering today between $47 and $49. Uh, clearly, Nigeria needs to be looking at other areas in order to generate more resources for uh, our economy. And of course, mining comes in strongly uh, as one of the key areas to focus on uh, with regards to our uh, diversification uh, uh, plans in, in the country. And how are we going about this? Over the last decade, Nigeria has been growing its mining sector, but in terms of its uh, geological prospectivity, in terms of its fiscal uh, regime, and in terms of, of its regulatory uh, uh, framework, uh, with the passage of, into law of our Mining and Minerals Act in 2007, uh, Nigeria started on a very clear path towards uh, developing the mining sector. But even though we have the right uh, regulatory regime, um, and Nigeria is really a well-endowed, uh, mineral-rich country, it's fair to say that Nigeria is not a mining nation yet. And I make a distinction between um, being minerals-rich and becoming a mining nation. Minerals rich in the sense that there's hardly any part of Nigeria that you go to that you don't have one mineral or the other that is of commercial uh, quantity. Um, but given the focus on oil and gas, we've never really done well in taking advantage of uh, developing the prospectivity into concrete uh, uh, projects uh, over the year. Yeah, there are bits and pieces that have been developed, and Australian companies are quite active uh, on the ground in developing those uh, key uh, minerals that uh, are beginning to gain attention. But by and large, we haven't done uh, very well. Uh, so you may say Nigeria is not Ghana yet, uh, Nigeria is also not South Africa yet. But Nigeria may be that hidden gem that you are all looking forward to uh, in terms of really concretely developing the mining sector. And opportunities abound for investors uh, with the rising levels of endowment uh, and the largely green field that Nigeria really is in a number of areas. Uh, the, the, the more well-known uh, minerals that are being developed now, uh, coal, lead, zinc, iron ore, uh, gold, uh, limestone, bitumen and barrett, and there are also minerals that are actually not known to be really a huge find in Nigeria. Only recently, many of you would have come across a major story in the Australian newspaper, I think about a week or 10 days ago, uh, of 
a likely major find of nickel uh, in, in Nigeria. Uh, some of my colleagues there will talk more about that. I, I wouldn't dwell on it, only to give an indication that if this high-grade find turns out to be what we think it is, then uh, for other prospective investors, Nigeria may be the place to begin to pay serious attention to. Uh, in addition to all the other places that um, you are already doing that. And if you're going to be paying attention to Nigeria, what really do we know about what Nigeria offers? Uh, because in the perception index, Nigeria does not really rank highly in terms of mining. Very few people know that Nigeria's uh, mining regime compares favorably with any other that you might have come across uh, in the world either in terms of its tax uh, uh, regime, it compares favorably with what obtains here in, in Australia. Uh, if you look at Chile, South Africa, United States, you find out that Nigeria offers almost about the same, if not better than many of those countries that I've, I've mentioned that are well-known mining jurisdictions. If you also look at it in terms of royalties, Nigeria also compares favorably with uh, uh, those countries that I mentioned. If you talk about financial incentives that are on offer for mining uh, companies and investors that want to come uh, into the country, um, Nigeria offers clearly uh, one of the best in terms of its tax holiday for the sector, uh, three years from commencement of operations in the country, in terms of exemption from customs and import duties on mining equipment uh, in terms of the length of the lease that is available to you uh, in the Mining and Minerals Act. And more importantly, in terms of the fact that you can actually own your company wholly uh, as a foreign investor in Nigeria without any compulsion to have local partners if you don't want to, and um, you would be free to uh, organize your uh, 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 economic fortunes around your own uh, 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 economic agenda without any uh, compulsion from, from the country. What we've tried to do since we came on board, and I've been minister now for 10 months uh, since the last uh, election in Nigeria, is to look at how to strengthen the opportunities that are available in the mining sector in Nigeria. And only last week, on August 31st, the federal cabinet in Nigeria approved the roadmap for the growth and development of the mining sector uh, uh, and, and develop ideas that would specifically enable us to uh, attract investors uh, into the sector which builds on what is already in existence, a very strong law uh, that is in existence. Now we, we have proposed, and it's been approved, a, a super regulatory agency that would incorporate all of those critical regulatory bodies that we currently have that are doing quite well, the Mining Cadastra Office, our Mines Inspection, and um, uh, our artisanal and small-scale mining uh, 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 operations. And, the agenda we have is basically to, in the immediate term, uh, try and, and win over domestic users of industrial minerals, a lot of which is there in Nigeria, but which we do not, uh, uh, which we have not paid enough attention into developing the processing and beneficiating capacity. And, and, and the next phase of that is to then focus on developing and expanding our domestic uh, mineral assets, uh, our processing capacity, and then using the period of this downturn in the commodity market to prepare for the next boom uh, and return to uh, the global oil and mineral markets in, in a much stronger uh, fashion. Uh, for us, we are investing on a number of things that we know are of critical importance to investors in the sector. One is infrastructure, uh, power, transportation infrastructure, 
uh, rail uh, port facilities are being uh, expanded, uh, technical and engineering capacity as well, and our own institutions are undergoing regulatory reforms, institutional uh, strengthening and capacity building, some of which Australia has helped us with. Uh, scholarships have been extended to our uh, geologists, uh, partnerships with our geological survey uh, agency, uh, and um, uh, support to artisanal and scale and uh, small scale mining uh, 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 operations. So for us, deepening uh, the business environment and making it a lot more investment friendly are the things that would be the critical components of what we're doing over uh, the long term. Uh, clearly, the gap in the geosciences, uh, the geological prospectivity, is one that we're paying a significant amount of attention to. And we would love to, of course, encourage those who, are, uh, who have expertise in that to uh, generally work with us, with our geological uh, surveys agency too, in order to strengthen uh, the gaps that we believe exist in terms of geological prospectivity uh, uh, in the country. Um, security, of course, is always a concern for uh, uh, foreign investors. And over the last year, uh, I know many of you uh, have read one thing or the other about insurgency in the northern part of the country. And uh, I can assure you that a lot has been done to reduce that significantly uh, to the point that uh, what currently uh, persists, which we're also dealing with, uh, opportunistic attacks, um, some uh, 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 isolated incidents of kidnapping, and we've had one concerning Australia, but the federal government has been very quick to deal with this and to immediately assist in, in recovering those uh, affected and uh, those involved have also been, been arrested in that particular uh, instance. So for us, security uh, and, and, and those who are experienced in mine site security is something that we would, of course, want to pay attention to. Uh, again, I mentioned the strengthening of the regulatory enforcement and clarity in our uh, regime, particularly clarity around federal and state government relationship, which has often been uh, a bone of contention. But this government has managed to engage states in a collaborative manner that then enables those who want to come in to uh, encounter minimum difficulties in terms of uh, 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 ensuring that the mining lease and their exploration licenses are effectively uh, used. The other area in which government is working on, because we're coming from a low base, is access to finance, helping investors to also access uh, finance in the sector, knowing the difficulties that exist in ensuring that money is available for uh, long-term investment in, in this sector. Uh, and, and as you can see from my presentation, the areas that we are then focusing on and in which we would love to, uh, of course, have investors come in, uh, in our upstream production, in, in the mainstream logistics environment, uh, downstream processing and beneficiation, and of course, other enabler services that always make uh, mining uh, uh, a worthwhile venture. Um, and we know that Australia is clearly very experienced in this, and um, we would really love to have Australian banks, Australian operators, Australian service providers, uh, geologists, uh, training services, environmental impact uh, assessment organizations, those involved in the mining ecosystem generally to, to come in and work with us uh, to achieve uh, our ultimate objective of turning Nigeria from being a mineral rich nation into a mining nation. We have the opportunity to talk a lot more about this at our presentation uh, tomorrow afternoon. So for more in-depth engagement with members of my delegation, I would 
appeal to you to join us between 2 and 4 p.m. tomorrow, level 5, uh, for additional details. Um, thank you very much for this.